Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Marie Made This. My name is Marie and you're very welcome. And this video is a roundup for you of my April makes. So I didn't make a massive amount of things in April, but I did three. So that's probably not bad going for me considering um, that we were at work for a part of that time as well. Um, before I show you those items though, I'll just explain a little bit about my dress. The dress is um, a variation on the Florence dress um, where I've removed the elastic around the waist and just added a little navy ribbon to draw the waist in instead of elastic because I find I don't like elastic sitting around my waist and moving around. Um, and the fabric is navy. I don't usually wear navy. I think it's a colour that First of all, I think it drains me a little bit, but I usually wear it with a light coloured cardigan. Um, the second reason I don't often wear navy is it reminds me a lot of my school uniform. So I tend to steer away from it. But this fabric amused me when I saw it. I was on a short break in France a few years ago now, I can't remember exactly when. And I went to the fabric district, which if you know Paris at all, at the bottom of the hill on which the Sacre Coeur stands, there's a huge number of fabric shops around there and you can get some good bargains. They have a lot of um, fabric that's already cut into three meters, three meter lengths that you can just pick up. And then you can obviously select your fabric as well. And, um, I had a good couple of hours mooching around there and I've, I would have loved to have spent longer, hopefully, one day I will. But this fabric from a distance looks like navy with just maybe some yellow triangular shapes on it. But when you get closer, it's pizza. And pizza is one of my favorite foods. So um, this is my pizza dress uh, and it's a Florence dress. So I guess it's a Fiorentina. Anyway, on to April makes. Um, I think you've, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen these before, but I just had a couple of things to say about each of them, which if you're thinking about making them, um, might be of interest to you. So the first one is um, the Badian top, which was a salvage from um, a different top that was too big. Uh, so I was cutting it from um, an already cut out top. So I was a little bit restricted, but I managed it in the end. Um, the main thing I loved about it was the sweetheart neckline. I find it really a nice uh, neckline to wear. So I'm definitely going to be doing some more with that neckline, um, even if I might not, I probably will make this exact top. One of the things I will do, um, if I make it again, is I will cut a little bit extra on the seam allowance. It's the pattern pieces are drafted with a 0.7 centimeter seam allowance. And I understand for knits and especially if you're making it on, on an overlocker, um, I'm guessing, I don't have one, but I'm presuming that you don't need massively wide seam allowances. Um, I don't have an overlocker, so I did everything on my, uh, on my ordinary uh, sewing machine which is just over my shoulder there. Um, and 0.7 of a centimetre is really quite fiddly uh, in that respect. So I don't think it would have done any harm to have made that a little bit longer. You know, a centimetre, that's three eighths of an inch. That's what knits generally come at. And so I think next time I'm just gonna cut a little bit wider and make the seam allowance a little bit easier to deal with. Um, so if you are doing this, just, and you don't, if you're not doing it on your overlocker, uh, just have a think about if you want to do that. Um, the sleeve length was what I had in the fabric and it is just about right. I might have added another half an inch maybe, but that's that's not a problem. <clears throat> the body length looks okay if I don't tuck it in, um, but um, given what I've been wearing it with, I have wanted to tuck it in to, to show off the, the bottom half as well and it kept popping out. So I had just enough left when I went back to my fabric to add um, two inch band um, on the bottom. And that's just enough now to make me feel more comfortable when I'm wearing it. So all in all, it was a good save. I like this um, particular neckline. It's, it's enough to elevate 
um, an ordinary t-shirt into something just that little bit different. Um, so uh, I'll be coming back to that style, certainly that neckline style in the future. And my next make for April was actually a skirt and I wear this skirt with that top because I love the way the colours look together. And this is the olive skirt from Durata Davis. Um, and I really like wearing this. I really like the kind of, it's a high low um, hem. It's a little bit higher at the front than it is at the back. And it has a flounce on the bottom of it. Um, it has lovely styled pockets in the front section. And then it has an elasticated waist. Now, when I made this, as soon as I saw the pattern, I knew that I was going to have to look at the length because obviously I'm five foot tall. Most patterns are drafted for people taller than that. So um, I found out from the designer that it's actually drafted for someone who's about five foot six, five foot seven. Um, so then that told me how much I was going to need to reduce it by probably because the it comes in two lengths and the midi length was showing up as a maxi length on me. Um, so I knew I'd have to do something. So what I did to start with, the first decision I made um, was it does call for two inches of elastic around the waist, two inch width. And I know from experience that that's just too uncomfortable around my middle. I haven't got a lot of space there. And two inches is just, I, I knew that it wouldn't be comfortable. So I shortened it, I changed that to one inch. Um, and so that would have lifted, that possibly would have lifted a little bit depending on where I need the waistband to sit. So that was the first thing I did. I also then made um, an inch adjustment around the hip. So I lifted the hip point up by another inch. And then I also took an inch uh, out of the length further down before the flounce hit. So I kind of got rid of two, depending on where the, the waistband was going to sit, two between two and three inches that I shortened, which I thought would have been enough. Um, I think if I, when I get to wear it without tights and I can wear it with bare legs and some nice sandals or maybe my white trainers, something like that, I think it'll be a really nice length. Um, or in the midst of winter if I'm wearing it with boots, I think it'll be a good length. Um, the couple of times I've worn it with um, kind of opaque tights and my flat shoes for work, I just feel it's th still the wrong length, it's a little bit frumpy. Um, but I like the flounce on the bottom. So I think, um, I feel, the main thing I feel is that the pockets are um, still sitting too low. Um, and I didn't want to go too mad lifting the hip point because the hip point and the pockets kind of were about the same place or near enough and I didn't want to mess it up for the first one that I did. So what I will do for the next one, and there will be a next one, I've already got a fabric in mind to make it with, um, is I think I'm going to raise it again. I had a look at um, the designer Dorata's uh, Instagram. She posted a picture of herself wearing this skirt and she is obviously the height that it's drafted for and even then I think if I were her height I would still find the pockets too low so if I turn the waistband up once so that's another inch they come up a bit more if I turn the waistband over twice the pockets are in exactly the right place for me so um, if you are shorter of arm like I am um, then that's perhaps something to consider and I will, when I make another version of this, I'll report back because I'm going to do an adjustment in that area. But I love it. Um, I love wearing it. I love the little flounce, um, you know, when you twist around and it, it just floats around at the bottom. Really nice skirt. Nice and easy to make. And uh, yeah, really pleased with that one. That's my olive skirt from Duratta Davis. And then finally, I had some fabric left over, quite a lot left over, from making the skirt. Um, so I made a blouse. Now the blouse isn't to go with it because I think it's overkill. I think in a dress it would be fine, but then I think because of the blouse that I've chosen, 
um, with that skirt it would be overkill and um, so I've decided probably wouldn't ever wear them together never say never but we'll see so I made um, for the Sew April Blouse Challenge um, I made a closet core patterns um, cielo top or cielo top the one with the nice big statement sleeves and the lantern uh, design at the bottom um, for this one um, I had made um, the dress version of this with the straight sleeves and the pockets in the front uh, a couple of years ago and I was really happy with the 16 16d i think it was that i made it was just right it was um oversized enough without looking too sloppy um and yes the sleeves were off my shoulders but i thought that was okay with the design it hadn't occurred to me until i'd actually um inserted these gathered sleeves that the, that point really does need to sit on your shoulder um and not hang off um and you can't i don't think you can get away with it as much in this so I'd put the sleeves in and then decided that I really needed to have done a narrow shoulder adjustment. So I had to unpick them and do it again, but um, I'm pleased I did because it sits a lot nicer now and the, the dramatics of the shoulder point are more noticeable rather than being halfway down my arm. Well, an inch down my arm, but yeah, I do have to, did have to do about an inch on that. Um, the only other thing was I dropped the bus dart by uh, an inch because it was too high. It looks quite high on some of the pictures as well. Um, so I did that, although that's not without its trickiness because the bus dart for this particular design is in the armhole. And um, I think if I were to do another one of these, now I've got the experience with it, I would move the bus dart completely out of the armhole and put it in the side I think um, it would just if I'm having to move it I should have moved it completely and put it in the side but anyway um, I'm still learning things about that so it's all part of the part of the fun part of the puzzle um, yeah so and the other thing again I made the 16d and I'm, what I might do um, if I make another one again is I might size down to a 14 um, because it's quite wide around the neck and um, it doesn't slip off but I think it probably should it, I think it probably is intended to be a bit of a narrower fit than it is on me so I think I would uh, probably try a size down and there's plenty of room um, around the middle and um, the bust is not particularly tight there's enough ease I think to get away with that so those are my three uh, garments for April. Um, I'd love to know if you've made any of these, particularly the um, olive skirt, because it's one that when I first saw it, I, I loved it straight away. Um, and I'd just like to see other people's, um, to see what they look like as well. And I'm, I'm just interested to see how, how the pockets sit and what, I don't think, my arms are proportional for my height. I don't think they're particularly short, but I'm just uh, curious to know if if it, that is just me and I do need to uh, just take a little bit more care with the with where the pockets sit. So there we go. That's April. Uh, May is underway. I have one item already under my belt and I have another couple which um, will definitely be getting done this month and I look forward to sharing those with you. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Take care and I'll see you soon.